Hi, Jamie Zachary here with Select Thermal Science. I'm joined today uh, by my good friend, Stan Palla. Stan is our Global Director of Oil Seeds. Uh, Stan, thanks so much for being here today. Hi, Jamie. Thank you for the invitation. Now, a lot to talk about in a short period of time. Uh, before we get into it, uh, tell me a little bit about Solix's experience within the oil seeds industry. Yes, Solex has been a recognized partner to many producers for more than 30 years. And we can find our standard plate breeders in the majority of rapeseed and canola processing plants. Uh, now, always something new going on here at Solex. Uh, what's new in your world these days, Dan? Yeah, today I would like to introduce our vertical plate conditioners. And in short, uh, they are a combination of Solex well-known plate technology for heating of bulk solids. And in combination with optimized air sections, we can provide conditioning of LCs before the crushing process. The plate technology itself allows for very efficient heat transfer. Product flows by gravity between the plates and the heat transfer is done based on the conductivity. The flow of air has a vertical direction and the reason for injecting the air is to absorb the moisture that is being evaporated during the heating process and carry moisture out of the conditioner. Uh, generally, the conditioners are a very good solution, especially for warm soybean dehulling process, as well as for conditioning of canola if needed. However, it will also allow for converting from hot to warm dehulling, which means that the processors can avoid the jet drives after the installation. Uh, I'm interested to know a little bit more, uh, how does plate technology compare uh, with traditional tube technology that we've seen out there in the field? Yes, uh, both technologies use similar principle of heat transfer and mass flow. Both provide very efficient solution. However, Solex plate technology can offer twice as much heat transfer area within the same space. For example, one heating section with the typical dimensions of 3.3 by 3.3 meters and one meter high offers more than 400 square meters of the heat transfer area. And being able to process more product within the existing space is quite important for the plants that are looking to increase the production capacity without having to also undertake significant retrofit renovations. Simply, you cannot install more tubes in the same area. Another huge benefit is the long lifetime of the heat transfer plates. They do not suffer from abrasion. The reason is that due to its design and the vertical position of the plates, there are no horizontal forces. And we can say that the estimated lifetime of the plates from our experience over the decades is the same as the lifetime of the entire conditioner which obviously has a large impact on the total maintenance cost. Now, in conversations you and I have had, uh, you've also mentioned uh, the fact that plate technology is better uh, suited to capture uh, waste uh, heat that's otherwise, uh, well, wasted uh, in a lot of these plants. But tell me, how does this actually, uh, how is this actually accomplished? Yeah, absolutely. We can say that uh, this is one of the major benefits of the of the plate technology. Um, in a typical rapeseed or soybean plant, there are a lot of different streams of waste energy, and uh, the majority of them will will be low grade, and they are generally very difficult to recover with the tube technology. And we all know from the thermodynamics that it's that if the temperature of the waste energy is too low, we'll need a very large heat transfer area for the efficient heat transfer recovery. And for this purpose, the dense heat transfer area of the Solex conditioner has its advantage. Another benefit of the Solex conditioner is the modular design and its flexibility. And we are able to split the conditioners between the energy recovery sections for the best payback time and steam sections for, for the efficient drying to the required moisture level. Now, we've heard from some of our customers, especially our soybean customers, that uh, the beans are coming in a little bit more uh, with a little bit more moisture. Um, you know, how does plate technology, uh, is it better suited, I guess is my question, on being able to handle uh, these beans with um, higher moisture content? Uh, does it give a, the plate technology a little bit of a competitive advantage over that tube technology? Yes, definitely. When soybeans, for example, come into the plant with, with, with more moisture and we are talking in excess of, for example, 14%, and the existing conditioners are not able to meet the parameters required by the downstream extraction process, it definitely might lead to the yield deficiency, but also impact the quality of the, of the final product. Um, therefore, with Solex conditioners with maximized heat transfer area, the processors can increase the drying performance within the existing space with a minimum installation cost. Now, we covered a lot. Uh, if people want to know a little bit more about vertical plate conditioners as well as what else Solex can do, uh, where would you point them to? 
Um, please go to solexfermal.com um, and uh, there we have a section under its oilseed portal dedicated to explaining more about uh, vertical plate conditioners. In addition, on May 13, Solex will be collaborating with the AOCS to present a webinar on this very topic. It's free to sign up. Uh, just head over to the events page for more, for more details.